Welcome back. Now it's time to accept your Latrobe University offer. To begin the process, you'll need to activate your Latrobe account. You can do this by clicking the link in your Latrobe offer email. Then you are going to give us some essential information. <laughs> it's okay, we don't need your whole life story. Just the basics. Make sure all the information you enter matches what you put on your original application. Once you've completed the information, check the tick box and click Verify Identity. This will take you to a new screen where you will receive your student ID number and be asked to create a password for your account. We will send you an email confirmation of your new Latrobe account. We also recommend that you write your details down somewhere safe as a backup. Okay, not that kind of safe. Next, you will need to accept your offer by logging into Latrobe Student Online. Remember that your username is your Latrobe Student ID number. Make sure you confirm that all of your personal details are correct. Add a semester address and an emergency contact. You will need to do this to move forward. Once this is done, you can accept your offer. On the Offers page, select the View button from the left-hand column to view your offer. Scroll down and review all the details of your offer. Once you are satisfied with the offer, click the Accept button at the bottom of the page. You will need to indicate how you plan to pay for your studies by filling in your Online Electronic Commonwealth Assistance Form ECAF. This is where you'll need your tax file number, so make sure you have it ready. If you're an undergraduate student looking to defer your fees to the government, you'll need to select HEX help for your course fees, plus SA help for the Student Services and Amenities fee, or the SSAF. If you're a postgraduate student looking to defer your fees, you will choose fee help and SA help. You are now one step closer to completing your enrollment at Latrobe. Latrobe University, be the difference.